In this video, I'll be showing you how to conduct the chi-square test in R. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some test data. So I'm going to set a variable that's named tab equal to matrix, which takes as input the, the data as the first input, as the second input the number of rows, and as the third input the number of columns. And so if I go ahead and run that, you see that this looks like this. And so I'm going to name the rows, cats and dogs, and I'm going to name the columns, houses and parks. And so here you can see the data. Now the question that we want to answer is, are the proportions of cats and dogs different depending on whether we are looking at houses or we are looking at parks? And so in order to conduct the chi-square test, we would use the function, so I'm going to set fit is equal to chi-squared dot test tab. And if I go ahead and run that, and we type fit, we see that the results of the test is that the p-value is 0 0.003, which means that, in fact, uh, the proportion of cats and dogs is different, depending on whether we're looking at houses and parks. Now let's see, can we see that from the raw data? So if we looked at cats, we see that 40 cats are, are in the houses and 10 are in the parks. So that means of the 50 cats, 40 divided by 50.8 are found in the houses, 80%. And for the dogs, we see that 25 out of 50, or 50% 50 are found in the houses. So we could clearly see that there's a greater proportion of cats in the houses. And so, we can look at different parts of this function. If we wanted to extract the p-value, we type fit dollar sign p dot value. And here you see the p-value. If you wanted the chi-square statistic, you can get it like this. And if you wanted to see the table of expected counts, we can do this. And then the observed counts is simply the original data. And so this has been a video on how to conduct the chi-square test in R. Thanks for watching.